Good morning, caregivers. Today is March 28th, and this is What's Going On With Mama. I am Carol Howell. I am an internationally certified dementia practitioner. Doesn't that sound important? You know, what's more important is that I'm a caregiver for my mama, Vera, who has very advanced Alzheimer's. But today is Tasty Thursday, and I'm glad you've joined me. We're gonna cook something well. We're gonna cook and mix up something really good today. I wanna thank our sponsors, Life in the Carolinas. You can find them at www, that's hard to say, lifeinthecarolinas.com. You can find them on YouTube. But on their website, you can see what station and what time their show is broadcast in your part of the world. I recommend you go down on the bottom left-hand side, well, about midways, and click on the link called Angel Wing Corner. I love that story, and I hope you'll enjoy it, too. Life in the Carolinas. Vitamin Depot, located on Selenese Road, behind Dunkin' Donuts. You can call them at 803-328-5800. Ask them about Acacia Fiber. This is a great product that I use. It's good with regularity, and it's... It's really not expensive at all. You stir it into whatever you're drinking, you won't even know it's there. You can call David at Vitamin Depot, 803-328-5800, wherever you are in this country, he'll ship it to you. Those are our sponsors, and I do appreciate them coming behind us and helping us make this happen. Can you see my poster, Michael? Zoom. Michael's practicing with the zooming in portion here. Our fundraiser is called Got Sneakers. We want to, you to donate your old sneakers, and you can donate them at several places around town, and we even have a box in Gastonia at Trinity United Methodist Church on Florida Street. And all you gotta do is drop off your tennis shoes, your athletic shoes, your cleats that have rubber soles. We pick them up, send them off, and we get a dollar for every pair. Let me run down the list of where you can take them. There's a box at Dr. Epps' office on Selenese Road, Passmore Grocery and Grill on Saluda Street. These are all in Rock Hill. Your Travel Services, East Black Street, Rock Hill Tennis Center on Cherry Road, Mixed Fit at B Fit Studio on White Street, Little Cafe on Cherry Road, and in Chester, hop on over to the Chester Golf Club on Old Richburg Road and bring us your tennis shoes. You don't need them cluttering up your closet anyway. Get rid of them. I like to clean out and get rid of stuff. All right, got all the business taken care of? Yes, I do believe we do. Today, we are going to make Oriental slaw. This stuff is so good. You're just not gonna believe it, and it's very easy, because you know, my whole idea is we're gonna do things that are easy and quick, so you can get a meal together, because you're caregiving, you're working, you're busy, you got kids, there's 5,000 things going on. I dig it. Besides, I just like to get it done quickly. Well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with one cup of slivered, not silvered. Every time I type a recipe, it comes out silvered almonds. It's slivered almonds and one cup of sunflower seed. Gonna come over here to the stove top, turn it on about mm, medium. I like using butter spray or you can use butter or oil, whatever you prefer. This is just simple. I'm all over simple. Gonna get that pan to warm up a little bit. We're gonna add to that the noodles from two packages of Top Ramen. Now, is it called Top Ramen everywhere or just ramen? I don't know. Gonna beat them, take all your anxiety, your boss who made you mad yesterday, your husband who did not vacuum the floor, mine did vacuum the floor, your kid who rolled her eyes at you. Boy, did my daughter do that when she was growing up. Roll her eyes. Told her I was gonna pop them right out of her head if she rolled them at me again. <laughs> Don't turn me into child abuse. This is my ice cream scoop because my super neat food hammer is at, in my kitchen in Florida. You got them all broken up here. Shake them down, get your scissors. I could not cook without scissors. Now we're gonna add those two there, but somewhere down in there, we're gonna come upon a little seasoning packet. Mm -hmm. Let's take that out. Pop those in the frying pan, the saute pan. It'll sound so much more professional, just in case the folks from Food Network are watching and they want me to be their next Food Network star. <laughs> I cracked myself up. Gonna put that in there. When I first saw this recipe, I thought, we're gonna fix ramen noodles in that? Ugh. Gonna add this. This is not low calorie and it's not low fat. It is high on the happy quotient. And some days you just need that, but it does make a lot. When I post the recipe, depending on how many folks you're cooking for, you just might want to half it. But I'm 
good about sharing my food. We take, um, often take what we have fixed on month, Thursday, today Thursday, and share it with the residents at the group home where my mom lives. So many times what you see us cooking on Thursday, they have for lunch or for dinner on Thursday night. We're just going to let this um, saute there, or not really saute, but kind of toast and brown and put a little bit more butter spray on that top so when those get turned, they don't stick. Oh, yes. Now, do not add salt. Because Lord have mercy, there's not a shortage of salt in this recipe. Now we're going to take another bowl. Let me get this out of the way. And we're going to work on the dressing. So, it is one half cup of olive oil. Let's get this measured out here. Okay. And then we're going to finish that cup. I'm going to go ahead and pour it in the same cup. <laughs> this is apple cider vinegar with the mother. If you're going to use vinegar, use it with the mother. But be sure you shake it because that has some stuff that's good for you in it. I don't know what it is, but it's something that's good for you. <laughs> pour that up. So that's another half cup, which brings us up to the cup mark. Very easy. All right. Now, Michael, you watch. You might need to make this later. Michael's my cameraman. And then we're going to put one third cup of sugar. Now, if you know me, you know I don't use a lot of sugar. Where's my measure? Oh, there it is. No, that one won't work. It has holes. Let me get a different spoon. Anyway, in my house, I don't use a lot of sugar. This bag of sugar will last me a long time. Except this week, I did make my husband some cookies. Bless his heart. Had real sugar and he didn't know how to act. We don't want but a third of a cup of sugar. And I use pure cane turbinado sugar when I when I am making a dish that's, we're going to, that's something other than dessert. If I'm making dessert, I figure it's probably going to kill us anyway. I just use the, <laughs> the white stuff. Third a cup. No, it's not quite there. Let me just pour that. Okay, one third cup of sugar. There we go. And that just goes right in there. Then we're going to take, get those scissors again, those packets, those seasonings, that came in. Oh, 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 let me stir. There's the spoon I was looking for. Stir it. These things will burn quickly, and we want toasted nuts and ramen noodles not burnt. Because <laughs> toasted nuts and ramen noodles are very good. Burn, not so much. Give it a little bit. There you go. Let's keep doing that. All right, the scissors, we're going to pop in there. The seasoning packages that come in those ramen noodles. Isn't this easy? And, folks, we are so close to being through making this. Don't you love something that's easy? And we're just going to stir that together. If I had been the efficient Food Network star, which I'm not, I would have had my whisk right here. But this is working just fine, too. So, I don't know if you can see, we've got a nice brown dressing. Mm, I wish we had smell-o-vision. Smells good, doesn't it, Michael? Can you smell it? Michael, they can't hear your head rattle. I can hear your head rattle. Michael's always afraid to speak up. I don't know. All right, we've just about got these toasted up sufficiently. Mm, such a good combination. And then we're going to take a larger bowl. Check out my salad spoons, forks. They have been around a while. They, um, they're missing some digits. Somebody should feel sorry for me and get me some good salad forks, Michael. Hint, hint. All right, let's turn that off. Well, we are going to have burnt ones here very quickly. You know, I do things the quick way. If you want to buy a head of cabbage and put it in your Vitamix or stand and chop it up, more power to you. But, woo, I'm not interested in that. You know what I just realized? Some of my sugar is down on the bottom here. Let me get that out. I really should have gotten my whisk. Stir that again. I'm not interested in taking the time to chop up that cabbage because I'm a busy girl. And when I'm not busy, I need to sit on the sofa and read my books. Not my books, but the books that I have. But you need to be reading my books. <laughs> so I have had the cabbage already chopped up. Do whatever makes you happy. That's what, that's what I say about lots of life. Do what makes you happy. Let's get some trash out of our way here. Recycle this, folks. You don't need to be cluttering up the environment with all your junk. Stick it all together and put it in your recycle bin. Yep, that'll work. Now, to this, we will add our dressing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give it a stir. 
Michael Mendenhall wants to know if that's a good brain food. Michael Mend oh Michael, thank you for asking that question. Michael Mendenhall wants to know if this is a good brain food. You know, it is because if you watched yesterday's show, we talked about how nuts are so very good for staving off dementia. Uh-huh. And this has nuts in it, does it not? Thank you for that question. What a good question that was. We're gonna let's get these. These handicapped spoons out and do this. It's so much easier. Toss that up. We've just got the dressing on. Now, you would think that we would immediately go right here and dump our toppings on. And if you're getting ready to serve this to a large group of people, like within the next five, ten minutes, go ahead and do that. But if you're not, if you put the noodles and the, the ramen noodles and the nuts on it now, what you're going to have in about an hour are soggy ramen noodles and nuts. You don't want that. So save these off to the side, and just before serving it, add these, toss them into it, or you can let each person put how much ever they like. And for me, that would be a lot. <laughs> we might fight over what was there, might we, Michael? He likes this stuff too. And then we're going to give it a sample. Ooh, it might be very hot too. Let me see here. Oh, they're not too bad. Okay, so here we have the salad with the ramen noodles, the um, sunflower seeds, and the slivered almonds that have been toasted on top of this slaw. And right now it's going to be warm and cold all together. Wait a minute, I want some ramen noodle. Here we go. So, oh, good gosh, that's good. Y'all, excuse me for a while. Mmm. We may skip the rest of the show while I eat this. This is so good. I promise you're gonna like the texture. Whoops. <laughs> you're gonna like the texture and the flavor from that Rama noodle seasoning package. It just sets it off, it's quite good. All right, I will post that recipe on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything you can think of, it will be there. I wanted to take a minute and talk with you about sundowning. There have been some questions on Facebook lately. I'm on lots of forums for, sun, for um dementia and Alzheimer's, and they make me a little bit crazy. People will post a question, and instead of folks answering the question, they tell their personal experience, and they've never answered the question, or else they answer the question with information that's not correct. That makes me crazy, too. Oh, I don't need anything else to make me crazy. Do you agree with that? Don't answer that question. Sundowning is what happens to the person with dementia somewhere around the time when the sun starts to go down. Now the sun doesn't have to be down. It can happen even an hour before the sun, you, you actually see the sun starting to go down. For the folks in my mama's group home, somewhere around three o'clock, they start noticing some agitation, a little more movement, people trying to get up and down more, people being a little more um, aggressive, um, not in a bad way, but uh, talkative maybe. And sometimes that can accelerate so that by the time the sun goes down we have a lot of problems and in some of your homes you know this so what i want you to do is during that time i want you to increase the amount of light in the room um, go ahead and turn on all the lights if you need to add some extra lamps in your house some floor lamps that got the light that comes and hangs over the head of someone that's a good thing to do. For the longest time, my mom had a floor lamp that came over and the light, the, the lamp was actually just inches from the top of her head, so it shone down on her while she was sitting in her recliner to help fight sundowning. It is an easy thing to help. Will it solve it? Mm, probably not. And that brings me to my second point. The other conversation topic that I've seen lately is what kind of doctor do we need to use? And you do need to use a neurologist for diagnosing the kind of dementia your loved one has, because there's over 200 kinds. But if we're talking about getting into medications that will help with, with um, uh, behaviors and will help with sundowning, I recommend you find a geriatric psychiatrist or a nurse practitioner specializing in geriatric psychiatry. These people deal with the medications every day. They're very studied on the different medications and let them follow your loved one very, very closely. All right, that's your little bit of education. And here is your Rama salad. All the toppings we're gonna to put on it, it's gonna be so good and I hope you make it for your loved one. Look, 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 I set the timer. It's gonna go off here in five, four, three, two, one. Aren't you proud of me? I remember to set it. And now I'm over time. 
I want to thank our sponsors today. Life in the Carolinas, you can find them at lifeinthecarolinas.com and on YouTube. And I know you will enjoy watching that award-winning television show. Vitamin Depot on Selenese Road. Call them at 803-328-5800 for all those things you need for a healthy you. Tell them Carol sent you. Would you do that? I sure would appreciate it. Our scripture for today is Romans 15, 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. I hope that you find joy and peace, and I hope that your weekend is a wonderful one. I'm supposed to get to sleep late tomorrow, but alas, I'm doing a Civitan of Rock Hill project whereby I have to be up and out on the roads by 7.15 putting out huge American flags for National Vietnam Memorial Day. Is that correct, Michael? Yes. That is correct, but I'll enjoy doing that. So if you see me out on the road, um, what road are we on, Ebenezer? Um, wave at me we'll be putting out huge american flags blessings and smiles on your day i'll see you on monday bye